What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash am I the butthole. And let me remind everyone what this subreddit uh, is for, alright? It's for a discussion, alright? It's for everyone to share their opinions on stories. Um, if you have an opinion, it does not mean you are a jerky McJerk face, <laughs> contrary to what a lot of people in the comments might feel. So don't go becoming a meanie head the second someone has a different opinion than you. I'm not even talking about politics, guys. This is small stuff, so chill. All right, this story's called Am I the butthole for refusing to apologize to a co-worker over an Xbox? I work in a toy store on the gaming department. My sister asked me if I could get an Xbox Series X for my nephew on Christmas. I explained that they were sold on a first-come, first-served basis, even to staff, but I would try and get one. Last week, I rang the store to see if there were any Xboxes in on delivery. My manager, Jack, said there was one left. I said said I'd try to get there before it goes. Jack offered to hold it for me until I started my shift later that day. He told my colleague George over the radio not to sell it and I heard George acknowledge. I arrive a couple hours later for my shift and ask George to put through the Xbox. He tells me that he has already called his friend who wants one that he can buy the one that's left and he is waiting outside. I tell him it had been held for me, which he knew about and regardless, it is first come first serve and i was here first george then gets aggressive and angry refuses to serve me and starts talking on the phone to his mate he then tried to guilt trip me saying it's for his mate's son i tell him it's for my nephew and he gets angry i call jack down and explain jack tells george to go on his break to which george gets in my manager's face jack tells him to leave for his break or he'll send him home for threatening behavior george George leaves whilst calling me a freaking bimbo. George hasn't spoken to me since. On the day this happened, I was so upset that I couldn't work in my department with him and I spent most of my shift crying because of the name calling and snide comments I'd been getting off him. I spoke to another coworker, Sarah, about it because I didn't know what to do. She told me George had been saying I had been aggressive and intimidating to him and that I should apologize to him. No one believes his story as there were multiple witnesses to the incident. Am I the butthole for not apologizing? I don't believe I did anything wrong. He is the one continuing to ignore me, make snide comments, and call me names when he thinks I can't hear. I really don't want to fall out over an Xbox, and I know it sounds petty, but I am not going to feel guilty for buying the Xbox or for not apologizing when I haven't done anything wrong. I'm kind of scared to work alone with him now because I don't know what he's going to be like. At it! After posting this, I immediately came off here because I was so worried I was going to be called the butthole in this situation. Thank you to everyone so much for your comments and advice. I have a day off today, but I'm scheduled in tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to speak to Jack then. Honestly, it didn't even occur to me that what George is doing is harassment or bullying, and I don't know why, but until you guys pointed it out, I didn't think like that. Thank you guys so much for your help and advice. I will post an update in a few days and see what happens. Yikes, this is horrible. Who does stuff like this? Like, who who treats an individual like this and thinks it's okay? Much less over an Xbox. Like, come on, bro. At least make it a PS5. OP, no, you're not the butthole, by the way. It's, uh, George. All right, this story's called, Am I the butthole for refusing to apologize to a coworker over an Xbox update? End it! Wow, I didn't expect this much of a response. I'm trying to reply to comments, but there are so many. Thanks to everyone for their kind words and support. I am so happy and relieved that this was the outcome. However, thanks to Brovid, both myself and George are furloughed along with a lot of other staff, so we are now currently not working for the foreseeable, which I'm gutted about, but I'm thankful I'm still employed and everything at work is hopefully gonna be fine. All right, uh, here's a little recap thing, but we just read the story. I know it's been a while since my post, but I wanted to be able to give the full update. I spoke to Jack and he told me George had come to him a week or so after the incident and apologized. He said he overreacted to him and shouldn't have done what he did to him. Jack accepted his apology 
apology. However, because it was aggressive behavior, he did get a note on his file. George accepted the punishment, and they both agreed to put it behind them. After getting all of the responses I did, I said to Jack that George's behavior could be considered bullying, and he agreed, so he said he would speak to my other co-worker, Sarah, as she was witness to his behavior. I don't know how that meeting went, as me and Sarah haven't worked on shift together, but from what happened on Christmas Eve, I assume she spoke up for me. Me and George were scheduled to work Christmas Eve together. It didn't bother me. I knew we would be busy, so we would barely have time to speak to each other. I started before George to prep for opening, and he was starting when the store opened. He arrived a bit early like normal, and he had a massive gift bag with him. He came straight up to me, held out the gift bag, and gave a huge apology speech. I cried, he cried, and we hugged it out. He brought me a bottle of Prosecco, chocolates, and various other stuff. I genuinely believed he was sorry. He said he was out of order and he is disgusted with himself for how he treated me and he didn't speak to me because he was embarrassed and scared that he had lost me as a friend. I believe he is truly sorry. We've decided to draw a line under it and we have been getting on really since, or really well since. It's like how it used to be. I want to thank everyone for your advice and guidance. I don't think I would have gotten this resolution if it wasn't for this sub. Thank you all so much. You're welcome. I believe I contributed a lot to this outcome <laughs> retroactively somehow. If that is that the correct way to use retroactively? I don't know. I'm tired, man. Anyway, OP, I'm glad you weren't the butthole. And other guy wasn't the butthole either. It was just two people having a misunderstanding. Boom. No one's a butthole. All right. This story's called Am I the butthole for not inviting my twin to my wedding ceremony because of his actions at work? Me, 36 male, and my twin, 36 male, are both studied in the same medical school after high school. I studied in Central Europe, and we were best buds until our clinical years. At our clinical years, it started to change. In clinical years, <laughs> we had a professor, 66 female, in ICU, and she was literally a mix of Gestapo and Stalin. She has always craved power and total dominance in her clinic. She is really good at her job and has serious landmark publications that affected guidelines in our medical school years. All of the medical students, her residents, her colleagues, and staff hated her, but had to endure her. Me and my brother were in different rotations, and I can easily say she became his role model. He started to act like her, constantly pressuring, acting like her mini version, and she loved him as her little puppy. He changed his advisor to become her, and he is the only one in history that she advised. Thank God. It was purely dysfunctional, and after a lot of complaints and begging to speak with him, I did, but it backfired, and it got worse. We had a big fight, separated our houses, and parents were confused, but they did not pressure us. When we were in residency, he stayed in her ICU and became her golden boy. I ran away and moved to the UK for residency, currently at Scotland. He excelled really quickly. Five SSCI published articles in his residency, first name in two of them, and more in his specialty, awards and projects. She really raised him as her successor, and you can see that she crushed her other residents. It was 2008 when we started our residency, and mobbing in the medical community was not that outly spoken. Still needed way more progress, but it is better, so everyone sucked it up. My brother continued to study under her wing until last year she was retired. After then, it was clear that he would get her place, and he did in 2019 December, and became way worse than her. I always had contacts in my old medical school, and he is a little Mussolini. Our contact has way lessened in the year, and we do not talk to each other other than for medical emergencies or holidays. Our parents still do do not know why we do not engage with each other until now. For 11 years, I was with my boyfriend, and we were not planning to get married until I was infected with it. You know what? I basically turned from ICU, and I realized I wanted it. I proposed, and he said yes a month ago. 
Hey-o! A day later, I called my parents to give the news. My fiancé has never met with my brother, and other than a wedding of my cousin, he knows why I hate him. Well, I gave them the news and decided to say that I am not inviting my brother because I am viscerally disgusted from his personality and also his work ethics. They did not understand and blamed me on breaking the relationship on such a superficial issue. For me, it is not. They said they will not come to my wedding until I invite him. I'm willing to go to the end, but all of the other relatives, even my boyfriend says I should suck it up, let him come, and endure him for a day. Edit. Some questions that were asked by user SarcasticWearCat and the answers. 1. Could you perhaps give us concrete examples? Example gratia, uh, shouting at patients, backstabbing colleagues. 2. Because I am viscerally disgusted by his personality and also his work ethics. Could you please expand on the work ethic? It's good to be a hard worker if you want to get ahead. Does he falsify data for publications, terrorize his employees to work more than they should? 3. Does his behavior put patients in danger? 4. Our residency in mobbing in the medical community was not that outly spoken. Is he also bullying? 5. Does he know of your disapproval or would he care? How would he react to this criticism? 6. Would your wedding day be ruined if he came? It sure sounds so. In this case, it isn't something you should just suck up, in my opinion. I wouldn't put myself on fire to keep everyone else warm. Okay, and here are the answers. 1. He was a tattletale. When he heard something negative about her, he would directly tell her. I know this from our medical school years. 2. I heard and saw camera records of him as a senior resident or as a specialist terrorizing her juniors, the anesthesia nurses in OR, or the ICU nurses. He was really scary. I do not think he falsified data because most of his articles are good pieces. Love it or hate it. 3. Honestly, no. I hate him, but he is really careful at his job. I would definitely trust his consultations. 4. I cannot count how many I have heard. He bullied his junior residents, nurses, technicians, etc. I know cases he made them work extra hours just to get a few cases to be ready for his studies. 5. He knows I hate him and his style, as he calls it. He currently does not care, and I do not think he cares to be at my wedding. He only wrote a congratulations on my Instagram post. Nothing more. 6. Honestly, yes and no. It is just a one-hour ceremony with no party or anything special due to Brovid, but I still do not want to see him in my photos, and he is really disinterested in anything other than his work. More info. No, I am not jealous of my brother. I can say this really easily, to be honest. I had a really different route of ascending, and it was much more relaxed than his. I also love conducting research, but not as devoted as him. I have a broad social circle and a side job as a performer in a rock bar. I am the main singer and bass. My fiance is the electric guitar and back vocal. His brother is drums, and sometimes his wife comes as a support in female vocal. All the revenue we earn goes to CCLASP. They always need donations and do a really good job. Well, OP, uh, I can say that no, you're not a butthole because it's your wedding, honestly. You can you can invite who you want, you can not invite who you want, but you probably shouldn't have made it a big deal, like by announcing it, like, ha, screw that butthole. You know what I'm saying? That just seemed unnecessary. But that's my opinion. Crucify me for it. No, don't, because I know you guys will. <laughs> I'm joking. Save it, you. This story's called... Update! Am I the butthole for not inviting my twin to my wedding ceremony because of his actions at work? Woo! Well, we got eloped seven days after this post. My talk with family did not go that well. My dad, interestingly, understood and became content on the issue. He was... I will talk to your mom. But my mom was another story. She literally nuked the relationship we had. After an hour of shouting and my fiancé seeing all this, we decided not to invite her, but it came to my dad and could not leave my mom alone. So we decided to elope since my fiancé only has his brother uh, that can attend to the ceremony and my extended family is off limits. I acted proactively though on my brother's workplace. I reached out to one of his junior 
senior resident who reached out to me before four months ish ago about him and helped him to file a rigorous complaint to their dean my brother is currently in an investigation and it is looking certain that he is gonna lose his chief status yikes they also asked him to get into therapy and i hope it will make good outcomes on him current dean was a specialist while i was a resident and he informally called me honestly i do not have high hopes but i hope he improves that's the attitude maybe a little bit more positive would be the ideal but hey what you gonna do all right this story's called am i the butthole for embarrassing my sister during family dinner so i female 21 was having dinner with my fam my sister 31 and her fiance my two brothers 28 23 and my parents let me give a small backstory before i continue my sister has hated me all my life i don't know why but she has i tried my hardest to have a relationship with her but she never cared for it you'd think after we've all matured she'd quit whatever it is she's on but she's still the same as she was when we were children my parents never called her out on how she treated me so she just continued it one of her favorite things to do is compare me at a certain age to her when she was that age for example i was smarter at 14 than op was i even got better grades and that brings me to today my sister was on her crap again and comparing me and the college courses i'm currently taking versus the one she took she took it to another level and said i wasn't smart and she could prove i cheated 12 years through school and two years in college or she asks this is her exact question if you're so smart what is the noun of a pronoun with an adverb everyone around the table kind of just stares like what she asks again i tell her there's no answer to that as it didn't make any any sense her conclusion i'm an idiot so i decided to ask her a question i asked her to tell me how does precipitation work in the water cycle a simple question to me no answer she gets red and says i purposely used a big word to confuse her and i wasn't being fair here's where i could be the ass i mocked what she said but i thought you were smarter than me my brother chimed in and said it was a fair question and she got embarrassed and walked out. My dad says I owe her an apology and said I should have been the bigger person as I've always been. I told him I'm not going to apologize and she can cry about it. Am I the butthole? Yes, you're the butthole. Yes, you should know better <laughs> than to take advantage of another person's dumbness. Yes, it's easy. Yes, it's fun. Yes, it makes you feel good. But is it the the right thing <laughs> i'm kidding guys oof ah oh, man the heat from all the torches and pitchfork sharpening yikes anyway op no you're not the you're not the butthole however it is best to just make peace when you can uh because any sort of feud like this benefits you and her in absolutely no way but you're not the butthole don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell to never miss an episode